So this brings me to a tweet by Jeff Bezos. Now, I know most people think Jeff Bezos is some kind of, um, some kind of uh, leftist, but I don't, I don't think Jeff is. Uh, I think he's probably more of a kind of a libertarian who doesn't have a political home and who probably voted Democratic because he hated Trump, uh, but probably he's not a Democrat and, and doesn't regularly vote Democratic. Here's Jeff Bezos' tweet. This is in response to Joe Biden's tweet. So Joe Biden wrote this. You want to bring down inflation? Let's make sure the wealthiest corporations pay their fair taxes. Their fair taxes. Again, Joe Biden wrote, you want to bring down inflation? Let's make sure the wealthiest corporations pay their fair share of taxes. How would that bring down inflation? Where's the economic theory that suggests that corporate taxes are related to inflation? There's no relationship between the two. But that is a United States government official tweet coming out of Joe Biden. Jeff Bezos' response. The newly, the newly created disinformation board should review this tweet. Or maybe they need to form a new non sequitur board instead. Whoops. I, sorry. My Jeff Bezos twit tweets jumped. Raising corporate taxes is fine to discuss. Taming inflation is critical to discuss. Mushing them together is just misdirection. I'll read you Jeff uh, Bezos' tweet again. The newly created misinformation board should review this tweet. Or maybe they need to form a new non sequitur board instead. Raising corporate taxes is fine to discuss. Taming inflation is critical to discuss. Mushing them together is just misdirection. Other people comment on um, uh, deficits and other things. And um, Jeff Bezos later writes, in fact, the administration tried hard to inject even more stimulus into an already overheated inflationary economy. And only Manchin, Manchin, the senator from West Virginia, saved them from themselves. Inflation is a regressive tax that most hurts, hurts the least affluent. Misdirection doesn't help the country. This is exactly what the Democrats are doing. There's an inflation problem. We know what caused it. Primarily, the Federal Reserve monetizing the massive government spending that went into COVID relief. And spending $3.5 trillion, creating massive deficits. And the Federal Reserve monetizing that, that caused inflation. Democrats. Inflation is caused by corporate greed, which didn't exist, I guess, when there was no inflation. Inflation is caused by corporations paying uh, too few taxes. Inflation is caused by anything except the thing that we really advocate for, which is lots of government spending. Now, I don't think anybody's buying the misdirection from the Democrats. Uh, but it is interesting to watch. Right. This is uh, the White House's response to Jeff Bezos. Quote, it doesn't require a huge leap to figure out why one of the wealthiest individuals on earth opposes an economic agenda for the middle class that cuts some of the biggest costs families face fights inflation for the long haul and adds to the historic deficit reduction the president is achieving by asking the richest taxpayers and corporations to pay their fair share. It's also unsurprising that this tweet comes after the president met with labor organization organizers, including Amazon employees. So again, yeah, I mean, everything Biden is doing is going to reduce inflation, it's going to reduce the deficit, including spending additional three and a half trillion dollars. Jeff responds, look, a squirrel 
This is the White House's statement about my recent tweets. They understandably want to muddy the topic. They know inflation hurts the neediest the most. But unions aren't causing inflation, and neither are wealthy people. Remember, the administration tried their best to add another $3.5 trillion to federal spending. They failed. But if they had succeeded, inflation would be even higher than it is today, and inflation today is at a 40-year high. Jeff Bezos is not some nutty leftist. He might own the Washington Post, but does he have editorial say in the Washington Post? Does he hands off owner? We don't know. Everything I know about Jeff Bezos suggests that he is a small L libertarian, that he's a free marketer at the core. He's not a socialist. He's not a redistributionist. He's not a, you know, big government type at all. Indeed, I think many people in Silicon Valley who are accused of being leftists are like this. They, they, they probably support much of the social agenda of the left, but on economic policies, they're free market people. So uh, what can I say? I always am happy to see a, um, a business that's standing up for himself talking back to politicians, defending himself and defending his ideas. Yeah, he, he, none of these people are perfect. I get it. None of these people are perfect. But the reason he lobbied for a $15 minimum wage, do you know why he lobbied for a $15 minimum wage? Because he felt like he was forced to provide it to his employees under threat of government action by the Trump administration of all people. And he said, look, if I'm going to have to pay $15 minimum wage, then everybody should. Now, I'm not justifying. I'm not saying he's justified in doing it. But if you ask Jeff Bezos, do you believe there should be a minimum wage? And, and if we got rid of minimum wage across the board from Amazon and everybody else, would you be happier? I bet you he would say yes. Bet you he would say yes. Oh, I, you know, is he somewhat of an environmentalist? I'm sure. Is he somewhat of a compromise on other things? I'm sure. Is he perfect? No. But God, he's one of the most successful businessmen in human history. He's improved your life and my life dramatically. And he has a voice that once in a while he uses to stand up to government. I'm all with him. I'll take a businessman like Bezos over any politician, particularly businessmen turned politicians, some of whom you know. The Democratic Party, when it comes to inflation, is aggressively trying to divert attention away from what causes inflation. Uh, Government spending out of control, and a Fed that bails out everybody left and right. Linda, thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. Who else did I miss here? Anonymous user, thank you. So, you know, it, it, it's, they're afraid inflation is going to really, really hurt them. Yeah, in, in recent times, Elon Musk has stood up to government more than Jeff Bezos has, no question. Still good to see Jeff Bezos do it. I wish more did it. There's no accident, by the way, that he's only standing up to government now that he's left Amazon, right? He's left a CEO. He wouldn't be doing this if he was CEO of Amazon. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content 
and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.